Good morning, good morning, and welcome to another hot, the fifth Saturday of July, Saturday Sound Things with Mots. Hi, I'm Mots, and today I have a very special friend, a very special guest. I've known her for at least 10 years. We've done many, many wine tastings together, and everybody please welcome Jane Bowser. She is one of the managers for Constellation, and when I think of people who know their product, their portfolio, who knows their audience, especially with Napa Valley Wines, it's you. It's, it's Jane. So, so we're lying on this whole thing. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we are. We've been live for five minutes. So aside from that, you have a wonderful lineup today with Robert Mandavi. And like I said earlier, this is this is your show. So tell us about these wines. Okay. Well, thank you for having me. First, I'm very honored to be here with you and with all of you. So today we'll be presenting the wines from Robert Mondavi Winery, the Napa tier. There are escalating tiers to these to these wines, where there's an Oakville tier and a Reserve tier that is the cream of the crop. But today we're just going to do the. I hesitate to call it the basic tier, but it is, it's the introductory tier, but it's all phenomenal, beautiful juice. Um, I would say the biggest thing I would like to start off with introducing is the fact that this is our newest vintage. Most of you will re realize that this is a different label. Not only has the label changed, but the newest thing that has happened is that we have this new technical council that includes jean Vier Jansons, who's been our director of winemaking for 25 years, but with the addition of Thomas Rivers Brown of Schrader Cellars and Annie Erickson from Tokelon Vineyard Company, and then of course Screaming Eager, Eagle, Harlan Estates, and a few other very, very notable, very notable wineries. And then the jean Vier chorus, prior to being the director of winemaking at Mandavi, was actually at Opus One. So. We have a stellar winemaking team that just really um, delivers some beautiful, beautiful products. She has great history, and right away I can smell it in the Sauvignon Blanc. It's not your typical glass of grapefruit juice. No. It's refined. It's elegant. I still get a little pomelo, but the flavor profile is just so easy drinking. And I, I hate that expression, but it really is. Tell us more about this. So all the Napa wines are going to be very varietally correct. That was a big intent of Robert Mondavi to always deliver the wines that you expect to be in your glass. I love that this is called Psalm Things. I will say I've tasted these wines with Psalms and yourself included. And the first thing I get from people is like, oh, that's a Sauvignon Blanc. That's a Chardonnay. That's right. a Pinot. And sometimes you want that. You just want something that's classic and just exactly what you're looking for. It, you know, instead of just, some, you know, grapefruit juice in your face. Exactly. I mean, you could pair this with ceviche, you could pair this with uh, fried chicken, popcorn, salmon, swordfish, anything that would complement this wine. Anything like that, because I get a lot of, you know, you get some honeydew melon sure. in there. You definitely get... A little cucumber, a little... I was going to say cucumber. Okay. Yeah. A little herbaceous, herbaceousness, but it's still intense. Yeah. And that leads us to wine number two. Wine number two, yeah. So this is, so the first wine, we'll just backtrack just slightly. The Sauvignon Blanc, it's 92% Sauvignon Blanc with 8% Semillon, so very classic again, the Napa Sauvignon Blanc. Right. Sourced out of Napa Valley, of course, a little bit from Stag's Leap, which is important to say. Moving on to the Chardonnay, this is 100% Chardonnay. So um, mostly, mostly from, I mean, it's Napa Valley, but we get some sourcing out of Russian River. Beautiful, gorgeous. Right away, you get some musk melon, some white peaches and gardenias, some Asian pear. Definitely some Asian pear. You can Pineapple. Right, right. You can taste that. It's a hint of mallow, but not full-fledged. Right. Beautiful. Aged. French Sir Lee's. Mm -hmm. Sir Lee's French oak. Love that, love that. Her talent really goes into these wines and they're so expressive and they're so flavorful. Yeah. Bottom line. And like I said, with the addition of Thomas Brown and Andy Erickson, you're just getting the Midas touch on these wines. Sure. So if you haven't tasted them recently, it's 
very much worth a revisit because because um, spin are so good. Um, they, uh, they, yeah, it's just very much worth the revisit just because they are significantly different than previous vintages. Right. And again, you know, with these, it's, we're looking at actually 2019 and the Chardonnays 2018, and those were really really good years actually in Napa. And just to let our viewers know, we have a display of these in our fine wine room at Argonaut. There's a special Robert Mondavi case showcasing these beautiful wines. So come up to the fine wine room at Argonaut and take a look at these because you know Michelle will be putting them on sale. And that leads us to wine number three. Wine number three. So another 100% varietal wine with the, with the Robert Mondavi Pinot Noir now. I love the new label by the way. Aren't they gorgeous? Yeah, they yeah. are. Very classic. Nice. It's medium body. I get a little white pepper, black pepper, some cassis. It's really refined. You don't think of Pinot Noir as necessarily coming from Napa. No. But this is an exception. Wow. And a little bit of Russian River sourcing as well. Okay. Of and then, um, do you get violet? I get violet on mm -hmm. quite a bit. Of course, the traditional flavor profiles of Pinot Noir as well. You get cherries, plum. Sure. Um, again, you know these are going to be tasting notes that you will pick out out of your classic wine. So it's great that we are picking them up here because right. then uh, that makes us that makes us honest. <laughs> exactly. I mean, you get little red raspberry, a little blackberry, a little choke cherry, a little but plum, it, yeah. right, it all melts together and forms this beautiful Pinot from Napa Valley. Who would have thought? I know. I know. It's true. One more sip and then we'll go on to the, All right. the Mac Daddy. Mm, mm, mm. I love that. Okay. Tell okay. us about this last one, Jane. All right. So the Rubber Mondavi Napa Cabernet. Again, um, Mondavi actually was more known for, if everyone knows, you know, when Robert Mondavi established the winery in 1966, he put his name on the map with Fumé Blanc, of course. But now it is more known as a Cabernet house, as it should be, because it makes stellar, stellar, beautiful Cabernets. Right. This is specifically the wine that I was saying when I taste it with Psalms, they're like, that's a Cabernet. And I take that as the highest form of compliment. Sure. Because, I mean, I'm like, great, that's exactly what it should be, right? So there's nothing better than getting what you want. You're absolutely right. I get a little tar, tobacco, uh, a little sea smoke, but definitely your black fruit, your black berries, your black cherries, your black raspberries, and they just go together beautifully. And you can definitely tell that this is a cab, as it should be. Yeah, just really like, nice structure. Yeah, just like the Sauvignon Blanc. In there. Love this. This would go great with the steak, but also we just, you know, we just opened these wines, and they're already drinking beautifully. Right. You can imagine right. if you just let it sit for just a moment. And, I'll, and they will just complete, they will continue to evolve and develop in the glass and just open up for you. They really will. And I can't thank you enough for finally joining me. I've been begging her because she's so knowledgeable in the wine business to join me for Saturday Sound Things. And I hope you return in the fall and the winter because you've got a great portfolio. And everybody out there who has seen us, been to Argonaut, you can't miss these wines. So Jane, thank you thank and you. cheers and cheers. please come back soon definitely. because these thank are you. definitely worth discovering. Thank you. Cheers. <laughs>